Welcome back to Stick War Legacy. So today we're going to be actually getting a little bit of history in here. So this mission, Mission 30, we're going to be fighting the Sword Wrath leader known as Xenophon and the Elites. We're going to be commanding a bunch of different units, but interestingly enough, and let's see, what should we fight Xenophon in? You know what? Let's actually do something a little bit weird. I guess I don't like how everything is golden, but we're going to try default skins regardless. Before we get into it, I want to say a big shout out and thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. So in the vast ocean of online content, there's a lot of websites and sneaky little crabs that are looking to take your info without you even knowing it. But you can swim under their radar or their sonar using Surfshark VPN, which is a virtual private network. VPNs allow you to stop websites from tracking your info and selling targeted ads to you because nothing is weirder than when you're having a conversation and all of a sudden you start seeing advertisements pop up for that specific conversation. Plus, with Surfshark's Hacklock ID protection, you'll get an alert when someone is trying to break into your email. But one of my favorite features of Surfshark is that you can bypass geo-blocking. What is geo-blocking? Well, remember that amazing mobile game you wanted to check out, but it's only available in some random country or not yours? Well, I feel like games access should not be tied to nationality, and Surfshark gives me all the access I need. So now just log in with Surfshark and get access to the games that aren't normally available to you. So if you want both protection and freedom online, click the link in the video description and use code Baron Von Tactics for 83% off and three extra months for free. Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out for yourself. So thanks Surfshark. And we'll upgrade our spear tin by one and basically two upgrades in our miners and our archers. And that's what we're gonna be rocking with today. We are doing nothing special. Now, why do we need Okay, so the four units, well, one of them includes the miners. So technically, it's like three combat units. But Xenophon, okay, Xenophon, what do you look like? Oh my god! Uh, Xenophon's sword looks like it's straight out of an anime. That thing looks like it could cleave through an entire Spearton. And it looks like his Spearton's are even fully upgraded as well. So this is going to be a bit of a problem. But this is kind of interesting because Xenophon was the name of a very, very famous, at least in terms of history, a very famous Greek general and philosopher and historian who is known for like this really epic tale about like 10,000 Greek mercenaries having to make this long, long journey home. Basically, you were a mercenary and maybe like I, I'm going to have to reread up on the story. The guy may not have paid. It didn't end very well and everybody was sad. And Xenophon was like, yo, guys, it's going to be fine because it has to. OK, so this guy with his giant sword. I love it, though. It's very, very cool. Like, look at that thing. Look at like it looks like it's made from a meteorite or something. Okay, let's get a few more miners. Let's get three, actually. How many do we have? We have four working and eight is the max because with four gold nodes and two miners apiece. So Xenophon, I'm imagining, is going to do just an incredible amount of damage. So I'm kind of curious, like, how hard he is to fight. So they've got a pretty balanced force. Some archers coming in. So the more archers, the more spear tins we're going to need. Backed up by archers. Plus, I I'm, I'm worried that guy's going to cleave through a shield. Like, if he could break it. But I, but I love how... Oh, and they're fighting elites, right? So he's got elite units. And mine are just standard. I have to upgrade them myself, unfortunately. So after this spear tin, we're going to start investing in more archers. So they're going to be hit harder than us. This is going to make it a little bit difficult. All right, guys, let's see. Yeah, another archer. And we've got, I think, seven. So we'll get one more miner. We need to have a full economy. They've got what? It looks like five guys. So Xenophon's elite mercenaries, huh? And we're in the, like the desert map. Oh, they're, they're attacking. OK, this is interesting. Protect the miners, boys. 45 damage. Whereas the other guys, oh, he did 60 right there. Or are we doing 60? OK, so we're battling Xenophon and he's going to take out a spear to 1v1. Let's see, we should probably be investing in more hoplites because he's looking to maybe cleave through another guy. But he's getting stabbed in the back and he took three arrows to the neck. Xenophon, the leader of the Greeks, is down. We're going to need to replenish our lines here because we did take some casualties right here. But our brave army of spirits. And see, this, the classic Spearton skin is just my favorite. The other elemental skins are cool. And they do remind me of, did you ever play the uh, Stick Empires game? It was multiplayer. And 
and it was a lot of fun. And they had this really crazy elemental faction. I still like the forces of order versus the forces of chaos. But yeah, these guys just, they just hit, they just pack a punch, man. They are, <laughs> well, they're named elites and they're named elites for a reason. I think we've got eight miners. One, two, four going back. And then there's four mining. Yeah, we do have eight. So now we'll invest in more archers. I mean, if we're going to be fighting elite Greeks, well, maybe we can use our archers to blot out the sun, right? That would be kind of cool if you could have like legendary leaders that you could call in. Oh, the possibilities. All right. How are we doing? We've got almost two lines. So actually, let's get let's get two full lines of Spiritans. And then once we have that, we should be able to push in and conquer them. So they got three. Oh, no, they got a wizard. Wizards are so good. Yeah, we got to get them before they get a giant out. That is for sure. All right. So two full lines of Spiritans, gentlemen, charge. And then just because it looks awesome and will perform better, I'm going to do the Spiritan Madness. So we throw our spears. No, man, they ran away. Why did they run away when I was throwing my spears? You guys, come on, let the boys play. The enemy always retreats on me, man. They just know. Uh oh, so, oh, they called in a giant. Okay, an elite giant. Oh, that's gonna be kind of difficult, especially if my archers are not targeting him. So I think what we need to do, we need to have the archers target the units instead of just the statue. So we'll pull back and then we'll go back in. And since we threw our spears, now we've got the Zepho swords out. I might be mispronouncing that, but guess what? I'm not Greek. <laughs> Come on guys, archers, archers, archers. All right, we, we, we can't repel fire power this magnitude. We gotta retreat. They're kicking our butts. I need the archers to focus on that giant, dude. He's a beast and we don't need any more archers. We need more spiritons to hold this line. We we should have pulled back a little bit earlier now that I'm realizing this because I don't think sending in spiritons one by one is going to do a whole lot. Some of these guys are going to get to our lines. Oh, man. Oh, no. We broke through the spiritons. So now we should. There's three wizards. That's why. And the wizards are like, we've brought a cave troll. Well, he's dead. Oh, my gosh. The wizard doing splash damage all on our archers. We lost a ton of units right there. I think we're actually going to need a build up here. Xenophon, the great general. Look at how many arrows this guy guy has in his head. <laughs> you, you're, you're fighting. You're fighting well. You're fighting brave. So we had what? Two or three lines. We got down to like 2.75 or 1.75. They lost a lot of guys too. Look at that. They got our arrows in the knees and in the necks. They ain't doing too good. All right. So once these reinforcing spiritons come, we'll be able to push them back. I love the uh, helmets of these guys. They're so cool. And like, you don't get to see that when you're using the cool or like, you know, the fancy skins because you're kind of in incentivized to use the fancy skins because they have all these benefits to them. Extra health. Like, check this out. Life steal, damage reflect, damage to the deads, slowing the enemy, making them cheaper to build. They don't look as cool, man, in my opinion. All right, we'll get these three archers and we'll go. I like to have overwhelming force. Two full lines of spiritons, some supporting archers. Let's go. I, I, I love the little mini bosses. How many have we had? Xenophon's one of my favorites so far. It's interesting, though. We, there was a... We haven't had a challenge that has to do with zombies in a while, I don't think. And the Halloween event was the stone giant. I wonder, do you think there's going to be anything for Thanksgiving? Probably not, but you, you never know. It's an American holiday, so it may not be as prevalent or as important to other people as it is to me because I like my mashed potatoes with a lot of gravy. Look at that. They, they decided to fight here and now they die. We're going to take them out. Xenophon, you've been defeated, my friend. Rest in pepperonis. Rest in pepperonis and cheese and sausage and mushrooms. Oh man, I'm hungry. Is it dinner time? So we've got the blade, the blood blades of the Swordrath tribe to fight as well. But one of the things we're going to do this time is we're going to switch the skins. So since we're on a harder difficulty, we're going to make our guys cheaper and quicker. And we know what we're fighting now, right? So I kind of like the way we did it. We'll do, we'll do damage. Let's just go damage. Fully upgraded damage archers. You know what? We're doing a similar strategy this time. All right, so two guys come out. So we'll get six, and then we'll do a little uh, quick miner. Okay, Xenophon is here. Hey, Xenophon, don't don't attack yet. I know you don't see any units that are defending my miners, but if you could just not, that'd be that'd be great. But we'd really appreciate that over here at Undefended Incorporated. Although now we're gonna be able to get up in this battle. Yeah, if you're gonna be doing damage, I want my guys to be doing a lot of damage as well. So full line of spiritons. The music's pretty epic. I've listened to it quite a bit. All right, so. 
what? Two Spiritons, two Archers. That should be able to hold the line in case he does attack. I think they'll build up to a few more Archers, but we should be able to beat them back. We're going to have a lot more units than them already. I wonder if Xenophon would retreat if we attacked early. Begs the question. I mean, but, but look at the size of that sword. Oh, no. Why'd you run over there? Because we had too many miners. So oh, you poor man. You're the first casualty. Hopefully the only one, but I doubt it. I guess we could have saved up and just gone full wizards on these guys. They do bring in a giant, though. So if we did full wizards, we would want archers to supplement them as well. But right now, my build order is basically consisting of a Spearton and an Archigen. I think it's time to go battle. I want to see if he'll retreat. All right, Xenophon, are you a brave general or are you a coward? Leading your elite soldiers, will you stand and fight me? Or will my overwhelming powers intimidate you? Well, I guess that answers that. That's, that's kind of bad because now he'll come out with the defenses. The supporting wave and Xenophon is going to be very difficult difficult to fight. Very difficult to fight. Well, if that's the case, you've got elites, huh? You know what? Xenophon, can you take on a Golden Spearton? He's gonna lead my army to victory, okay? You think you can take him on? I've got my own general, my own great legendary Greek. His name is Achilles, and he's gonna smite you for Inamorta. What's going on in Inamorta, man? When's the Army of Chaos coming? Yeah, more archers. I feel like now that we've got a, our Golden Spearton here, and you know what? Let's throw in one of these guys, a Merrick for good measure, to keep us in the battlefield a little bit longer because you know that giant's coming and he's gonna be a pain in the butt and then you know what for good measure are you gonna hold the line because if you do i'm throwing my spears they always run they always run right when i throw my spears look at them running with a, a spear sticking out of their leg all right we're using our shield wall to block incoming arrows where's the giant where is he all right pull back pull back pull back oh man xenophon and a giant this is getting this is getting dangerous come on out i'm gonna lure you out hit you with an archer barrage try to get some of you guys soften them up uh, protect the Merrick. He's out there. Or rather, she? I think it's a she. Or is it a spirit? Because when, when the Merrick dies, it, and it's also white, it's the only, like, ethereal-looking unit. Oh, I'm, at, I'm unit-capped here. Golden Spearton is lightly damaged. Merrick, you might want to move. You're in the giant's range. Yeah, let, let's let's move you right there. But I haven't lost a unit. Oh, I just lost one, and it was a Spearton. There we go. The giant's down. Now the three wizards are going to fall. Arrows will find them. Yes. And they got a, a few skirmishing archers here. Not going to do a whole lot. Oh, man, that Salvo Arrows just destroyed them. All right, we've got it. And that Hoplite just Bell. Yeah, my army's beast. You can't beat it. I mean, we did use a couple special powers here, but I wanted to see Golden Spearton versus Xenophon. And we got we got to see that. Who's the true elites now? Well, answers me. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Stick War Legacy. I'm loving these weekly events, and I'm very curious to see what happens around Christmas time, because I love holiday up updates, and we've already seen one where we got something massive is on the way, where it was the giant stone zombie giant. It was epic. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see more. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.